Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Aquatics. Today we're going to go over some axolotl care tips. These guys are so cool and very interesting little creatures. I love them to death. But without further ado, we'll start out with some parameters. Their water temperature should be 58 to 64 degrees these guys like really cool cold water their tank should be well cycled and as far as ph these guys are very versatile they can uh withstand pretty much any type of water i personally have hard water my ph is anywhere from 7.8 to 8.7 like I got some really hard water and as you see they do quite all right with that now I said cold water and that's awesome that means you ain't got to worry about a heater however in some cases you have the reverse effect there are things called chillers that some people have to end up getting to put on these tanks to keep their water cool because their house itself is super warm. So keep that in mind. Tank requirements. These guys require 20 gallons per axolotl and 10 gallons per each additional. Now, that is more at full size. Ouija is like a juvenile he's not quite an adult yet and buddy up there is an adult these guys are in a 20 long but i am currently setting up a 60 gallon tank for them most people will argue with you till they're blue in the face about substrate and decorations and stuff like that in their tank i personally think at juvenile to adult size you can have sand in your tank and even rocks as long as they're not small enough that they can eat them because they have a hard time digesting and passing them and an axolotl can open their mouth like three times the size of their body so with that said you don't want them swallowing nothing and choking on you. I keep plants in my axolotl tank with no problems. And if you're thinking about getting one of these guys, get one of those hammocks you've seen I just have. These guys really love the hammocks. As far as tank mates go, these guys are not aggressive. But they should be kept with other axolotls only because they're really, they have really poor eyesight and they have this vacuum effect. That's how they eat. So anything that gets by their mouth, they pop their mouth open and suck in. So they're going to eat absolutely any fish. And if it's a juvenile or a baby, it can choke on live fish. So it's just best to keep axolotls with axolotls. And I'm not one for a species only tank. But if you want to really enjoy these guys. Just do it. Diet. These guys will eat anything from blood worms to night crawlers as they get bigger. They I don't want to say are just carnivorous. They're probably omnivorous because they will eat anything that will fit into their mouth. Again that's why they should be kept with only axolotls they will also eat pellets i've got ouija to eat flakes when he was a little baby so the options for food are plenty these guys are a really cool pet to keep and if you're just considering getting one i really suggest you do so get your tank set up right and you won't look back and regret it these guys are so personable. I can literally hang out with them for hours. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. You got something out of this video. If you made it this far, 
Go ahead and hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, share it out, tell somebody new, and thank you very much. Stay fishy, y'all.